Welcome to our video which shows how to replace the filters in a compressor. This compressor is for the Range Rover L322, later model 2006 onwards, the Discovery 3 and the Range Rover Sport. It's quite a common issue for the filters to be full and affect the output of the compressor. Um, there's also another fault with the piston seal and glide ring um, which can again affect performance. Um, we would recommend to replace both parts of the compressor to maximise output. Um, there is a separate video explaining how to replace those seals. I will now show you how to replace these filters. First off, take a T27, T27 Torx, and unscrew these six bolts from the filter unit. The top of this unit is sprung loaded, so it's a good idea to keep the bolts still in the unit just to loosen them off just to stop the top part pinging off and there you'll see it's rising up on the bolts pushing down on the top you can just remove the bolts it's a good idea to remember the orientation of the bolts and which holes they came out of Remove the top, we're going to be careful of the spring. There you will see the spring. Taking a small flathead screwdriver, we can just remove this first filter plate. Set that aside. Set the next felt filter aside. You can then see the water absorbent beads. Uh, these are new beads because this is a demo unit. Um, on your original unit you'll probably see these are uh, a bluey colour. This will mean they're saturated with water. This um, affects the output. Um, it's quite a tricky task removing these. It's a good idea to get a, a bag, maybe a jiffy bag, um, to empty them into or they will go everywhere. I'll remove the beads. Try not to cover the whole workshop with beads. Speak from experience. And there we go. You can see the beads removed. With the final filter right at the base, set this aside. It's a good idea now to tip the compressor on its end just to remove any beads that may have become entangled. Um, we can then set about installing the new filter. Release the first filter with our new filter, nice clean filter. Screwdriver to tap it into place, make a nice seal. Insert the new drying beads included in the item purchased from us. Just flatten these off. We now need to install the second filter plate. Um, it requires a little bit of extra work, this one, um, just to improve the design. The original filter is rooted in place. You can just drill these out using a very small drill bit, like so. This has already been done in this case. Remove the rivet from both sides and take off the face plate. You can see a filter inside. I expect it will be quite full of dust. Um, set that aside. Keep the O-ring. Take out this part from our kit and insert the filter from our kit into the centre. Our kit won't come with the, the centre hole, so what we need to do is put the O-ring back onto here. Put the face plates back on. Make sure it's nice and centre and you can see the O-ring all the way around. That's going to sit flush to the inside of the filter wall. Stop any air bypassing without going through the filter. Okay, so once we've got that nice and centre, we can then take a small screwdriver and just create that hole through the middle. Now, you can either rivet these two halves together as per the original, using a rivet gun if you have one available. Alternatively, in our kit, 
is a bolt and a screw. Insert the bolt through that hole you've just made. Might want to put a little bit of Loctite just on the bolt. Tighten that up with a screwdriver and a spanner to make it nice and tight. Take this filter from our set and install it on top of the beads. We don't want any beads to be past this point. Just tap it down so it's nice and level. Insert this filter that we just made. And we want the bolt pointing outwards. Don't want that digging into the filter. Push this down gently. Too hard and the beads fly out. There we go, that's nice. Let's take the spring. Put it in the center of the filter. The center of this cover. And push it in. Push down on that, put a couple of bolts in just to retain the head. Again, it's good to remember the order these go in. There we go, that's the filter unit done. It's a good idea after doing this to test the compressor on the bench. Red wire and black wire, red wire positive terminal battery, uh, just a normal car battery, black wire to a negative terminal, this will allow the compressor to run constant. Um, you can test the output of the compressor, put your thumb over that, you shouldn't be able to stop air coming out if you can, there's probably a problem with the install. Uh, again, with air being sucked in, it's good idea to put your thumb over the input, if you can stop it being sucked in again, there's a problem. If it's good output, good suction, the compressor is okay and ready to use. Um, thank you for watching. Um, we also recommend replacing the, the piston ring and the glide ring at the same time as a separate video. It demonstrates how to do that. Um, if you have any further questions, just give us a call on 01843 446643 or email us at tech at xar.co.uk. Thank you.